In this video, we're going to talk about three main body parts you must focus on every time you take a shower if you want to smell good. So the three main body parts are your butt, your underarms, and your feminine area. No matter how quick you want your shower, it's important to focus on these three, these three body parts. So let's talk about the underarms. We all know the underarms is, the skin here is folded right it's closed so it tends to produce sweat body oils and also it collects deodorants when you use deodorants there's always wet deodorant residue there and when you don't clean the underarms properly bacteria can it makes it habitable for bacteria to grow and lead to odors so to wash your underarms you can wash your underarms normally with this when you're in the shower. So you have this on and you in the shower, you have some soap and some water and you go and scrub it. And, but sometimes I find that it doesn't get close enough for me. So I take it off and fold it just like this. You can also use a washcloth but this is what I, I shower with. So I use this with some soap and go in there to scrub the underarm and you don't have to do it hard you don't have to do it really just make sure it's close to the skin and get gentle your main aim is to get rid of dead skin and get rid of leftover of dead around <laughs> residue sorry so that's how to clean up after doing that make sure you rinse with water and then you can use deodorant again if you're going out or use moisturizer if you're just cleaning at home and the underarms will be clean and fresh the next body part to wash in the shower is your feminine area so the feminine area will have discharge have periods sometimes intimacy and also you pee so it's important to clean the feminine area in the shower and just like the underarm this time you you wear your exfoliating gloves just one hand and you go in there <laughs> in between the skin so let's say this is your feminine area let me know use my fingers but I don't want to I don't want to you to trouble so but you know what i'm talking about you clean around the middle of your feminine area because sometimes the dead skin collects there and also discharge when you have discharge it stays around that area especially for those of us that don't clean with water after we pee i'm going to make a video about using a bidet after you pee to clean yourself but anyway for now when you're in the shower just use your gloves and you go in there and clean around here around the middle area don't go into the middle don't touch just clean around the middle and make sure soap doesn't get into there and you rinse it off you rinse under the shower but yeah what you can do is you just raise one leg up and you go there so if these are the parts that's where you are cleaning the inner side of the parts that's where you're cleaning okay you leave the center alone and after that you rinse the water the third body part you must clean every time you go in the shower every time you take a shower sorry is your butt the poop <laughs> i like to say you do number two when you do number two most people wipe with tissue or wipes but it doesn't matter even if you use tissue or wipes water every time you go in the shower make sure you wash your butt you wash your butt like this again you have some soap you have some water you go there and you clean yourself after the first time you rinse off you rinse this off you, you take more soap and of course it's wet you take more soap and you go back and you clean again then you rinse yourself with water rinse very very well always open your legs rinse everywhere your water let all the water go down that's how you clean yourself this if you clean these three body parts every time you shower there's no way you smell bad 
there's just no way it's not bad. So if you were like, oh, it's behind your ears, or all the um, blah blah blah, stay behind your ears, or your inner elbow, or whatever, or your feet. If your feet, if you sweat on your feet and your shoes are smelly, yes, your feet will stink. Yes, it's important to wash your feet in the shower. But if you don't wash your feet in the shower, you <laughs> you will not smell like that. I always wash my whole body, I wash my body, I wash my feet. But what I'm saying is the important part then you wash that. If, if, if you are going to take a five minute shower you wash, and you wash your underarms, your butt crack and your feminine area, there's no way you stink. There's just no way. If you don't wash behind your ears, you will not stink. There's no way you, you will not stink. So let's leave all that. Oh, your navel. Did your navel. I don't understand how how your navel will make you yes that skin collects in your navel but not so much that that it would cause body odor. It's important to wash your navel, but the most important part of the body that you must wash if you want to avoid odors are your underarms, your feminine area and your butt crack. Because you don't want to take your leggings off or your jeans off and then you have this funky odor coming out or you're just wearing free shorts and and you can smell something here yes this area has its own smell but it's not supposed to be a uniquely funky smell no it has its unique smell but don't add something else to it and when when it starts smelling of urine it starts smelling of something that we don't understand then there's a problem because i understand that sometimes infection they cause odors or whatever but when this place is clean and you're yeah, and you're taking care of it it will just have the regular smell that the feminine area is supposed to have I hope you find these tips helpful if you like this video please like it and share it and subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next video my name is brie and this is skin overload see you next time bye